Well, the Boca Raton Museum of Art um, it, it has been around for over 70 years. Uh, our original building on Palmetto Park Road is now our art school, which has some 5,000 students a year, 35 faculty members. But 20 years ago, um, when Meisner Park was being developed uh, as a place to shop and eat and live, um, it was decided that a cultural element needed to be put on the north side of Meisner Park. And so the museum and an amphitheater um, took shape. Uh, so it's, uh, the museum has been in this building designed by Donald Singer uh, for the last 21 years. Um, and it's a really handsome building. It's very warm it's, and it's very easy to get around and, and we could not have a better location because uh, it becomes a destination not only for people who want to come and eat and drink and shop in Meisner Park but also um, you have a bit of culture as well. And then coming soon, certainly by the end of this calendar year, um, the Bright Line is going to have a stop here in Boca Raton and that is only two blocks away. You know, what was very important in our renovations of the museum was to start outside because here we are on Federal Highway. Thousands of people drive by every day, albeit you know, 35, 40 miles an hour, um, so they drive right past the museum. So it was very important that we create a promenade along the west side of the building. And it had been camouflaged over years by trellises or colonnades. And, and so uh, we've been very fortunate to have a $5 million renovation. Uh, be inspired to walk outside into our sculpture garden, which has also now been completely renovated, and see this fabulous 140-foot-long mural by Odili Donald Odita, a Nigerian artist who, uh, who works here in the United States. The museum, it has many different conversations going on. Um, standing behind me uh, is this wonderful sculpture by an Israeli artist, um, Itzhak Potkin, um, but it's, as you can see, it's, it's uh, Don Quixote. Um, and it was in an exhibition we uh, organized a few years ago about memory. And you see uh, the Don Quixote uh, who is uh, going forward, but by looking backwards in his mirror. So it is about memory. Um, and of course, that's one of the th wonderful things here uh, at the museum as well. We have a wonderful drawing collection. Um, and um, the, uh, the collection, which really is what started the museum uh, some 25 years ago, the need to have a much larger institution, uh, was a gift of uh, Dr. and Mrs. Uh, John Mayer, and it includes wonderful works by Picasso and Matisse. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a very, uh, it's, a, it's a beautiful space and wonderful drawings, um, and it really does uh, sort of establish a bar for the museum for all of our, for the rest of our collecting. Uh, so you'll find that we're not by any means a historical institution uh, where you fill in all the gaps of art history, uh, but what we have is very special. And I think the juxtaposition that our curators have found between works of art creates those conversations that ultimately is, is what I think you'll remember most about this institution. Machu Picchu and the Golden Empires of Peru was, was a huge success here. Um, uh, we had over 150,000 visitors uh, over the course of five months. Our membership increased over 200%. Um, and uh, yeah, we had visitors from obviously all over the, the state, uh, but uh, really from uh, uh, all over the country. It was a very important exhibition that premiered here in, in Boca Raton. We're open uh, every day of the week except Monday and Tuesday. Uh, we thought by closing those two days, um, we could be open longer uh, on the rest of the day. So, uh, so Wednesday through um, Sunday, we're 11 to uh, 6 p.m. and on Thursday, extended hours until 8 p.m. Mm -hmm.